Hello friends, my name is Evgeny, I'm from Ukraine. I'm watching my video using this service. Since my pronunciation of the English language does not allow me to do it myself. Thank for understanding. The 365th day of the war between Russia and Ukraine continues. Let's look at the main events in the Kharkiv direction over the past day. There have been very few reports from the Kharkiv direction lately, which makes it quite difficult to assess the situation. The General Staff of Ukraine continues to announce the offensive actions of the Russians in the Kupiansk and Leman sectors. Also, the reports of the General Staff reported repulsed attacks on the Svatovi sector in the Stelmahivka area and on the Leman sector in the area of the village of Krimina. From the Russian side, there are reports of attempts to advance in the Leman sector near Makievka. From the direction of the settlement of Dibrova, they tried to advance towards Zarichny. In the Kramatorsk sector, for the umpteenth time, they tried to attack the settlement of Bilohorevka. All these attacks were unsuccessful. Strange statements were heard on Russian telegram channels yesterday. First, there was a message that the Russians in the Kupiansk and Leman sectors had gone on the offensive. After a while, information began to spread that allegedly in some areas the Russians managed to advance up to 5 kilometers deep into the defenses of the Ukrainian army and that the so-called Grey Zone was occupying the Russians on the border with Ukraine in the Kharkiv region. Today, such a statement has not been received from the Russian side. Perhaps this is due to the message on the Twitter of the Ukrainian military in which he said about the advancement of the Russians deep into the Ukrainian defenses for 4 kilometers near Kremina. Ukrainian telegram channels confirmed this information, but said that this was the promotion of Russians not in one day, but the total number of promotions of Russians over the past month. Friends, as you can see, there have been very few views on the channel lately, which is why I have practically no income. If you have the opportunity to support me financially, I will be very grateful. Thank you. Meanwhile, Major General of Ukraine Dmitry Marchenko said that Russia will try to carry out another large-scale offensive in different directions, but it will be losing for the Russians. This is my personal opinion. I hope that there will be an offensive. There is no need to be afraid of this, it is very good if it happens. You must understand that there are rules of war. We, for example, in order to disrupt them from the places where they took up defense, we need to have three times more personnel and equipment. We do not have these resources. Therefore, when they go on the offensive and we organize a counteroffensive, we equate our forces and it is easier for us to fight with them, he said. Definitely, it will not only be in the east. To dilute our forces a little so that we cannot concentrate them precisely in the east of Ukraine. They will push from all sides. Most likely it will be the same as they did at the beginning. But they are also running out of resources, both human and technical. It will be difficult for them to do this, Marchenko said. Oleksiy Grimov, deputy chief of the main operational directorate of the general staff of Ukraine, said that during the year of the war, Russia fired more than 5,000 missiles at Ukraine. In total, almost 5,000 missile and almost 3,500 airstrikes have been carried out by the Russian occupation forces on targets in Ukraine since the beginning of the full-scale armed aggression, he said. Also, according to him, the enemy inflicted almost 1,100 strikes using drones. If you liked the video, please like and subscribe to the channel, and please leave comments, it helps in promoting the channel, thank you.